The expanding expression tool is used for kiddos who are verbal, but let's take a look at how we might use that for those on AAC. When you're using AAC with the EET, you're going to have a known item. So for example, somebody is going to tell you about a fire truck. So what group does it belong in? Group, and you're going to talk to about vehicles. What does it do? You might go to your actions and talk about what happens on actions. What does it look like? Again, you're able to guide them because you already know the answer. But this becomes an excellent tool when you're beginning to repair a communication breakdown because when you don't know what they're saying, they've already been walking through the steps. Can you tell me about the group? Can you tell me something about an action that might help me guess what you're talking about? Can you describe it further for me? So it becomes an expansive language tool while you are working on a known vocabulary and a strategy to apply when there is a communication breakdown. Once I've used the tool to come up with a vocabulary, I fill in a blank sheet so that they can play guess what I'm talking about. They have all the clues of what their target word is without the actual answer. And both friends, teachers, and families learn how they can give clues to repair communication breakdown. Take a fresh look at this tool and apply it to those who use AAC.